people and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about retirement accounts. Stop. Stop. Do not click off of this video because I said retirement. No, it's still for you. And while you're stopped, why don't you click subscribe? And then remember to like, comment, and share with your friends because this is important for all of us. So stay tuned as we talk about retirement accounts. All right, you guys, first off, I'm going to start off by telling you why having a retirement account as early as possible is super important for you. Well, one, we do not want to be working if we don't have to when we're older. We want to be on our best lives, on somebody's boat, on somebody's beach, doing something that we want to do, right? But the way to get there is by starting early. So even contributing a little now while you're getting your bread, your cheese, your guac, whatever food item we're using to describe money, once you start getting it, it is important to start saving towards your future. So I'm going to talk about the two types of retirement accounts that are very generally and commonly known. And I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of each and the requirements of each so let's get into it as i talk about these things please do write in the comments if you understood what i said or if it wasn't clear so that i can go back and clarify it later so first we're going to talk about the roth ira there are two types i'm going to talk about in this video the roth and the traditional so the roth ira is usually for people who honestly it's for everyone but it's more beneficial if you are younger because it has income requirements so you cannot make as of 2020 you can't make more than hundred and twenty two thousand dollars a year if you're single and you can't make more than a hundred and ninety three thousand dollars a year if you are married and filing jointly so I don't know about y'all but most people like in their 20s unless you got it like that Go ahead. Most people in their 20s aren't making that much. So this is a great option for them. Why? Because the Roth IRA allows for your money to grow tax free. Now, let me go through how this works. You get your paycheck. So they already snatched the taxes from them. Yeah, especially if you live in some states like New York. They be <laughs> so they take the taxes from them already. And so with that already tax money, you would put your money into your Roth IRA. So as your money is going in there, building and growing, when you are ready to take it out, you do not have to pay taxes on it because you technically already paid taxes on it. This is different from a traditional IRA because that account allows you to have a tax benefit. So when you file your taxes and you put that you contributed to your traditional IRA or traditional retirement account, you usually can get some deductions from that because they don't essentially want you to pay taxes on it. You already pay the taxes, right? Because it was snatched from your paycheck. But once you get that tax deduction, they're kind of refunding you that money. Now, once you're ready to take the money out of this traditional IRA, you're going to have to pay taxes on that amount. So that's the difference. On both accounts, you are paying taxes. Let me just make that clear. You're paying taxes. The question is really, when do you want to pay them? Do you want to pay them up front when you're only paying on a smaller amount? Or do you want to pay them later when you're ready to take it out when you got like 100000 in there? So that question is up to you. So let's get more into the differences between these two accounts. So I already talked about the income requirements for the Roth IRA, but for the traditional IRA, there is no income limits or requirements. Whatever money you make, you can put in there. Now, there is a maximum that you can put into the IRAs every year. And as of 2020, it is $6,000. So if you were to max out your IRA, you would be putting in $500 a month. That number usually increases every year. I know in previous years it was 5,000, then it was 5,500, and now it's 6,000. So I assume 2021 and so on is gonna continue to increase. Now, you're probably thinking, all right, so I'll put my money in here. What happens if, you know, I need to take it out, I need to touch, I need to access it? What happens? So with these accounts, there are differences. So now we're going to start with the Roth again. 
With the Roth IRA, you are putting in your money and it's being invested. So it's being invested across the board. Both accounts, when you're putting it in, it's being invested, right? So you put your money in the Roth, it's invested, and the money that you put in is called your contribution. The money that grows through the investment is called the earnings. Now with the Roth IRA, you are allowed to take out your contributions at any time if you need it, but you cannot take out the earnings without getting slapped in the face with a tax penalty. So they're gonna charge you to take out the earnings, not the contribution. Now, with the traditional IRA, they don't matter what you did, they, they slap you with that tax penalty. If you take that thing out before you're 59 and a half, it's done. Like they're gonna charge you for it. Not to say that you can't take it out, you're just gonna be charged a tax penalty for it. The other thing about the traditional retirement account, the traditional IRA, is that you get a tax penalty if you don't take out money by the age 70 and a half. So if you take the money out before you're 59 and a half, and if you take it out, um, if you don't take it out before you're 70 and a half, you get snapped with a tax penalty like on both ends. So that sucks. But it's still an option, it's still a very viable option. So the exceptions to this rule are if you have a um, first time home purchase, uh, you wanna use the money for your education or medical expenses, there may be exceptions, but you just have to contact Contact. You just have to contact the bank that you are banking with to see what their policies and rules are with regards to that. But for both accounts, there is a lifetime limit of taking out $10,000 for those expenses that I just named. All right, guys. So in summary, I would recommend doing the Roth IRA. I think it just has the best benefits. Your money can grow tax-free. Like, would you rather pay taxes when you only putting in like, you know, $100? Or would you rather pay taxes on like $100,000? Choice is completely up to you. But at the end of the day, it really depends on what your situation is. Because if you are making more than that income limitation, then you have to do the traditional IRA. So if you're starting out, you're not necessarily making that much money, I would say go with the Roth IRA. All right, you guys, if you want me to do another video talking about the different banks that you could possibly do this at, please let me know. I would be more than happy to do that for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you enjoyed your daily dose of melanin. Yeah.